What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jeremy here back again with another fragrance video. Hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing, man. Hope you guys are in good health. And if you watch this channel, I know you are smelling off the chain. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing, man. Hope you guys are in good health. Hope the family's good. Hope the money's coming in. Y'all already know how I give it up, man. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. I thank you guys. Man, y'all y'all make this keep going. I appreciate that for sure, for sure. But as always, I ain't coming to take up too much of y'all time, man. Y'all already know what today is. Today is Tuesday. So you are tuned in to another episode of Middle Eastern Tuesday. Yes, uh, Middle Eastern Tuesday back one more time, man. And I got to... This is fire, bro. Shout out to, I uh, believe Aromatics was the first person I heard speak about it. Then I seen TLTG reviews. Then I got confirmation from my guy, Dedrick. He was like, Jay, don't sleep now. So I woke up and I purchased it, man. This one coming from the house of Pandora Sands by way of Paris Corner. That one being Camaro Ohm Intense, y'all. And this is their version of Dior Ohm Intense now. I have a rollerball from Luxador from Dior Ohm Intense that I really, really enjoy. Have yet to get around purchasing the original. However, I've smelled the original on numerous occasions and I just, just haven't pulled the trigger to be honest. I purchased this off Aroma Concepts for 37 bucks. That's the box y'all. Nothing too, nothing too, too crazy. You got your holographic sticker that you're going to need to see for authenticity. You got your QR code, batch code, and all that stuff at the bottom. Hopefully, I get that to come through for y'all. Hopefully. If not, this was produced in November of 2022 and expir expiration of 11-27, so typically five years. Now, I'm going to show you guys the bottle. That is your bottle. It looks like the Dior Ohm uh, bottles, more of a heftier, thicker version. This cap is plastic. It does snug into place, but I don't recommend holding it by that. Really nice color juice, like that dark, dark brown. I'm not a liquor guy, or I would compare it to like a liquor color or whiskey, I guess. But just a thicker bottle, man. That's really all it is. But let's get into the spray. man you definitely get like this sweet enveloping um leather iris almost like this patchouli chocolatey type of vibe man longevity on this i think i need to let it macerate for a little bit longer so longevity for me my first two times wearing it, i got about four or five hours and i know the original og lasts a long time so i'm hoping the maceration process for this gets a little bit better as far as sim profile and closeness y'all it's there <laughs> the crazy part it's there like i don't want to call it a 101 but i do pick up on like this sweet iris powdery type of vibe the leather nuances is like a fresh leather they don't come off rugged or bolt or like overly bold it does kind of have like somewhat of a small soapiness to me for some reason but the sex appeal the the compliment factor the beautifulness beautifulness i don't know if that's a word the the likability factor of this fragrance is there man it smells amazing on skin and for me personally now that i think about it even if this did last five hours i got the rollerball that lasts until the next day for real for real so i'm not really too too worried but this right here y'all i know a lot of people said there's another one out there called cayenne cayenne classic i think that's another one maybe i'll purchase that to do a comparison but for a hundred mil bottle for 37 bucks 
This right here, y'all, this is it. This is really, really good juice. The quality's there. The scent profile is there. The closeness is there. It's just lacking longevity, in my opinion. And I'm still happy with that. Like I said, four or five hours, I was, and I didn't really spray too, too heavy, to be honest. So that could also be a factor. But I really enjoy this. Shout out to my guy, Dedrick, man. You ain't, you two for two, man. You two for two. You told me about ETE Savage Elixir. You told me about this one. You two for two, man. I'm, I'm grateful. So this will definitely suffice my not having the original of Dior Almond Tense, you know. I do, I do want to say that this is more so along the lines of like the newer versions because that, that older version was definitely a little bit more deeper. So I would compare this more to like the newer batches in my opinion. But man, Camaro Almond Tense, man. Do you guys have this in your collection? What has your experience been like? Is the maceration process kind of like in the same like me where you have to let it sit for a little while? Nonetheless, man, scent profile, it's, it's it. It's it. And that's going to do it for me, y'all. My name is Jeremy. You are tuned into the House of Colossus. Today, we spoke about Camaro Almond Tense, man, which is an awesome, awesome, awesome Dior Almond Tense clone, man. Like, I'm happy. I just hope that the longevity gives me like an extra hour. If I get a six out of here, we be straight. Until we meet again, y'all, much love from your boy. I hope to catch y'all in the next one through the grace of God. Peace. Oh, but don't forget, man, what's y'all experience? I need to know about this, man. Let me know.